Whether you are preparing to administer the Iowa assessments or have recently administered Form E, F, or G to your students, understanding the available reports and their use to support student academic growth is a valuable part of the assessment process. This video will provide you a look at the teacher level reports and the associated data to guide instructional decisions in your classroom. The data can be used to identify student strength and growth areas, determine student needs towards program identification, detect where additional classroom instruction is needed, and the type of instruction needed with whole group, small group, or individual learning. All of the Iowa Assessments reports are located within the Data Manager platform. Once logged into Data Manager, select the Reports tab and click Classic. The screen on the right is what you will see next. This section provides the selection criteria to generate a particular teacher level report. Once the selections are made and you are ready to run the report, click the Run Report in Background tab at the lower right corner to save the report within the report library. If you don't wish to save the report, select the Run Report tab. All of the Iowa assessments are based on 2017 norms, and that will be noted on each report. The reports discussed in this video are those most beneficial to teachers. After a review of each report, the drop-down selections for how to pull the reports are provided. The first report, Useful to Teachers, is the Class Summary Report. It provides an overall picture of student performance helpful for comparing scores across content areas. The National Percentile Rank scores outlined here, which are converted from the standard score, particularly help with this comparison and noticing where students are the highest and lowest in each subject area. The average standard score, identified in the third row of this report, measures a student's amount of academic growth from one year to the next. It identifies the amount of growth over time a particular student has shown in mastering the standards for a specific subject and domain. Looking at a student's standard score within the same two time periods, for example, spring of last year to spring of this year, one can determine if the student is progressing at the rate expected for the type of instruction he or she is receiving. The standard score is then converted to the other scores shown here. The average standard score noted here is each student's standard score in the class averaged together, reported for each subject and domain tested. The class summary report is also helpful with determining student groups by subject area, evaluating the effectiveness of programs of which your students participate, and if additional programs are needed, as well as how well students are learning the standards. Select the following options in the Classic area of the Reports tab in Data Manager to create the Class Summary Report. Select Run Report in Background once the selections are made. Then click the Report Library tab at the top of the screen to locate the report. Another useful report for teachers is the Class Performance Profile Report. The upper portion of this report displays the class's average standard scores, national percentile ranks, and other scores for each subject and domain tested, shown here. The lower portion of the report displays the number of assessment items, the class's average percent correct, the average percent correct for students in the nation, and the comparison of those scores per domain and within cognitive levels. The scores on this report are useful for viewing the highest and lowest achieving areas in the class within the subject area and by cognitive levels. The class performance profile enables you to identify the trends and learning gaps among students, compare trends within subjects and domains, and determine the areas of remediation and extension within content areas. Select the following options on the reporting screen to create the Class Performance Profile Report. Select Run Report in Background once the selections are made 
and locate your report in the report library. A third useful report for teachers is the class item analysis report. It shows by assessment item the standard skills tested in each subject area domain. It also displays the number of items tested in each subject and domain, the classes percent correct per standard skill, how students in the school and in the nation performed on that same standard skill, and the differences in the percentages both numerically and graphically. The scores in this report identify where students are strong within standards and where they need additional support or practice. Further, this report allows you to determine if whole group, small group, or individual instruction in a particular skill or domain will be needed. Brainstorming lesson plan ideas for targeted instruction can then begin. Select the following options on the reporting screen to create the class item analysis report. Select Run Report in Background once the selections are made and locate your report in the report library. The List of Student Scores report displays each student's standard score, national percentile rank, grade equivalent, normal curve equivalent, national stay nine, and raw score in each subject area and domain. The number of and which scores appear on the report is dependent upon those selected in the report's area. Lexile and quantile scores can also be included on this report. The quantile measure provides information on the skills and concepts in math that students are ready to learn, the level of success students will have on an upcoming skill, and how they are growing in math on a scale that expands across grade levels. The value of this report is knowing at a glance how each student is performing in each subject, domain, and overall academically. It is helpful with instructional decisions for grouping students based on strong and weak areas, focusing on or changing instructional practices for a particular student in a certain area, and gaining an overall picture as a teacher of where instructional practices might change from whole group to small group to individual instruction. Teachers will also find this report useful in creating goals around student performance, identifying students towards pro program placement, and gathering data for RTI. Trends can also be identified among the class to be used towards grade level trends. Further, comparing the scores on this report to those of other administrations can help identify trends of how a student is progressing in learning over time. Select the following options on the reporting screen to create the list of student scores report. Select Run Report in Background once the selections are made and locate your report in the report library. Another beneficial report is the class item response record that shows how each student performed on the administered assessment at the item level. The domain, standard skills, and the associated question are listed and numbered across the top. The blanks in the report indicate a student's correct response, whereas a letter in the box indicates the correct response for that item. Percent correct scores are provided. The box at the top left shows the number of students who tested and the number of students whose scores are included in the group averages on the report for each test. The class item response record report helps a teacher identify the skills that a student knows and where students need additional instruction or support. For example, notice that all students but one got question number 28 correct. The average percent correct for students in grade 3 at this school is 94%. All students got questions number 1 and 5 correct, yet they had difficulty with questions 14, 25, and 18. The report also provides the data to create class groups based on student performance, inform RTI, determine where remediation or extension activities by student and skill may be needed, and identify trends within the class of strength or weak areas. The top three rows of the report compare student performance by item to those in the entire grade level and across the country. 
Create the class item response record report by selecting the following options on the reporting screen. Select Run Report in Background once the selections are made and locate your report in the report library. The sixth report to mention is the Multi-Measure Student Roster Report. This report provides test level and domain scores, as well as cognitive level information for several test administrations, test types, grade levels, and levels for each student in the group. The colors in the report indicate the defined performance bands that schools and districts can customize. A footnote is included at the bottom to identify the labels and value ranges assigned for each column. Up to 10 columns can be created in this report to show data. The options for displaying data are percent correct, as shown here, raw score, or number of items correct, or number of items. This report is useful in comparing how students performed within each domain and identifying quickly the domains in which the student needs additional support. It is useful in the classroom for group formation and with creating student goals, as well as with evaluating program effectiveness. Looking at the students within a particular program, for example, how many students are in the highest performance band or the lowest performance band? Also, where are areas for improvement by individual student and in the class based on this report? And because you can see the scores over time from different administrations, you can also monitor a student's progress and view how well they are progressing over time on the Iowa assessments in this multi-measure student roster report. Select the following options on the reporting screen to create the multi-measure student roster report. After you create one column of information, select column two to add additional data to the report, reviewing domains or different administrations. Continue to add columns to your report as needed. Change the performance bands for the report in this area. Select Run Report or Run Report in Background once the selections are made and open your report. The last two reports to present provide individual student data. The Individual Performance Profile Report identifies a specific student's strengths and weaknesses by each subject area and domain tested. At the teacher level, reviewing such data helps with appropriately placing a student in a group based on skill and ability knowledge. Comparing performance profiles from previous administrations of the Iowa assessments is also helpful in identifying the areas in which the student showed the greatest gains and where growth may be stagnant or slow. Looking at the student's performance according to the cognitive levels across content areas also provides insight into how the student answered questions at the essential competencies level, conceptual understanding level, and the extended reasoning level by subject. Starting at grade 6, the individual performance profile provides a college readiness section that states if the student is meeting grade level or content standards and is thus on track towards college and career readiness. College readiness is determined by mapping the predicted ACT score range, which is estimated using Iowa Assessments test results, with defined targets of readiness as determined by ACT college readiness benchmarks. If the student is not on track, the teacher can review the domain and standard skills that need additional instruction in order to provide additional assistance in such areas. Note on this report that the standard score shown in this area is the predictive score. The predicted ACT or SAT scores are also available on this report. Benchmark indicators of on track or not yet on track display. Noticing the areas in which the student is not performing as well, according to this report, is important for data collection purposes. Local percentile ranks, if used at the teacher level, are also great on this report for identifying students who might need further instruction towards program placement. 
percent correct, standard score, and national percentile rank in each subject and domain are good scores to review towards implementing effective instructional strategies. Create the individual performance profile report by selecting the following options on the reporting screen. Select Run Report in Background once the selections are made and locate your report in the report library. The final report to present today is great for both students and parents. The student profile narrative is useful in determining the effectiveness of the classroom instructional practices and interventions in place for the student by subject area. The report shows each student's performance in each subject, allowing the teacher and student to identify strengths and weak areas. Further, the report provides the data needed for creating instructional goals by student and can inform class groupings and program placement. The student's standard score and national percentile rank score are useful to look at how well the student is currently grasping the standards and how much growth has incurred from previous administrations. For example, the student shown here is in the 89th national percentile rank in reading. If the student scores in the 89th NPR in reading the next time he takes the Iowa assessments, he is growing at a constant steady rate. An NPR higher or lower than an 89 in reading at the next administration indicates growth at a faster or slower rate, respectively. The student profile narrative is a great report to share with parents, as it does provide written text to help interpret the meaning of scores. It can be sent home and used during parent conferences. Select the following options in the Create a Report tab to run the Student Profile Narrative Report. Scores that may be included on the report are the Grade Equivalent, Normal Curve Equivalent, Standard Score, National Stay 9, and the Lexile and Quantile Measures. The Home Reporting options include a Spanish version. Then select Run Report in Background once the selections are made and locate your report in the report library. Longitudinal reports are also available to show student growth from one administration to the next and year over year. We are excited to partner with you to meet your data and reporting needs with the Iowa Assessments. We invite you to view the Iowa Assessments Reports and Score Terminology video next to understand the meaning of each score within the reports, including a standard score, grade equivalent, national stay nine, and national percentile rank. Thank you for your commitment to our products, and we hope we can provide additional guidance for you in the future to elevate the potential of every student. Thank you.